Hi Queens, welcome back to another video. We're just gonna do a quick little luxury haul today. Um, I haven't done hauls, I hadn't been doing hauls because sometimes there's just like a lot of negative feedback, but I did a haul a few weeks ago. I know most people like it, but it's, I just go back and forth. But I like watching hauls, it helps me decide on things if I'm interested in it. I just like seeing people's kind of like thought process behind getting things. So I'm just gonna show you a lot of the fall luxury things that I have gotten recently. So let's just get right into it. Um, let's start with the, what I'm most excited about um, is another <laughs> Gucci horse, horse bit bag. And I just, she, she's fresh out of the box. I got her last night. I found her two days ago, um, got overnight shipping, got her yesterday. Um, oh, oh, stunning. I love this bag. Um, I shared the black vintage one I got in the last video and I've just been reaching for it so much. I was like, man, I really, I was thinking maybe I'll just invest in the new version because I want a color, I want leather because I'm liking it that much. Then I was just perusing on Fashion File, minding my business. And I found this and I haven't checked out that fast in a very long time and I love it. Um, she is again vintage red, but it's a very dark red and it's a very like old kind of red, like it's not bright. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful, it comes with the chain. This is back, gorgeous. I'm gonna link whatever I can find on the pre love market. I'll link some options below if you're interested. This is just such an easy, such an easy bag. And it also, it, it's like a small bag, but it also fits a lot. That's what I really love. This, I love the long kind of east-west style because you can fit so much. Fit cell phone, wallet, like all the things and more that you would want to take on a night out. You know, um, little blotting paper or powder, um, all the lip glosses, keys. Like you don't have to leave things behind, um, which also makes it a good day bag, but still like super cute. I really, I really like it. I, I really like it. The thing I'm most excited about, you're gonna die. It's a good old hat. You know, we love a fall hat. We love a Ruslan Baginski hat. And I loved the one that I wore during fashion week, the cream with the chain. I was like, we gotta run that. We gotta run that back. So I found it in tan, it has gold. Hold on, let me put it on. Mm -hmm. Uh, stop playing with me. This hat is so good. These hats, oh, sorry if it's close to the mic. These hats run really small, so just FYI. Um, I am typically, I'm not gonna keep it on too long because I don't wanna mess up my hair and makeup. But I am typically a small or medium in Ruslan Baginski hats. And this one I had to, um, I just returned and got this one in a large. I think they go up to extra large, just FYI, but I feel like I have a pretty small head. Um, and the medium was just like, not it. Of course we have some sunglasses from St. Laurent. And they're just so good. There's never, will there ever be a day where I don't need any more sunglasses? I don't know. girl. It's just, this is exactly what I needed. I just need, I think we talked about this when I talked about the last sunglasses that, that are also Saint Laurent. I just needed more black, kind of like easy to wear kind of sunglasses. And these are that, I mean, they're, they're still extra but they're like oversized, but not too oversized. They're, you know, a little glam, but also very, mm, mm, it's just easy. It's just too easy. I absolutely love these. Obsessed is a little, another Saint Laurent item. And I wanted something because we talk about big bags are back. Um, I needed more like catch-alls in my bag, you know, like little cosmetics pouches, things to hold other things. Um, 
I found this and I just think it's so cute um, because you know the big pouch that comes inside the YSL eye care bag I use that a lot and kind of just move it from purse to purse but it's too big for certain purses so I just wanted something it's a great size but I just wanted something I could put stuff in so my bags don't get messed up I could put like makeup or just like breast mints you know just stuff so I'm not digging around in my purses um, and I just thought this was oh so cute look at that it's, oh supple leather so yeah very excited about this the plane flying over so so sorry um and i got some more sneakers again for travel now that it's we're going into fall winter it's either like sneakers i think it's a military plane it's just it's very loud now that it's fall winter i'm either traveling in boots or sneakers or like a loafer but loafers aren't always that comfortable so um, I got these, the, the I showed you these in the last video. Actually, I'm wearing them today. Um, and I needed something that was like a lighter color. So I got these little, I haven't worn them yet, but these little white sneakers, they're a collaboration with Loewe um, and whatever brand that is. <laughs> um, but, but they're just amazingly comfortable. That's what I was looking for. So when I want to wear like, just non-black things, my tan coats, cream coats, things like that. Um, and like jeans, I can wear these if I like. So why don't you share those with you? Um, I feel like it's really hard to find like designer sneakers that are comfortable. So I wanted to share these because they're like walking on a cloud and so are these Gucci sneakers that I have on. Next up. Okay, I think that's all of the small stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Then I just have these things on the rack behind me which I will try on first. Oh, first, let me show you my top. Let's, let's do that. This is super cute. This is from Pixie Market uh, on Shopbop. So great price point. And I've tried their stuff before because they have like the Kate dupes, but I just felt like the quality wasn't the best. But this, they must've got back in the lab because this quality is really nice. It's um, a shirt and then its own little shrug. Yes, we're back in the 90s. 2000s um but it's so cute i love how it goes down here you see like ah, so cute this is the zipper works and i just want more interesting kind of like sweater options i'm wearing a small so just fyi but for the quality this is a really good price point next um i think i'm gonna try on this dress next because I am very unsure. I've been looking at this Christopher Esber dress for quite a while. Um, I think we all saw, I think Sweetie wore this. It has like the big opening here. Um, but for the price, I don't know if it's doing enough. Like I feel like this is maybe one of those dresses where you just need like a BBL and fake boobs <laughs> for it to look like what it's worth. But let me know, I'm gonna try it on, hold on. Okay, here's the dress. Um, so I'm like, I think it's too big. Um, one, I'm, I'm just in a weird place right now where I'm kind of, oh, I'm kind of in between sizes. And I swear every time I order something and I'm like, let me just stick with a medium. I'm normally a medium or like a size six, it's too big. And then when I'm like, okay, let me get a four or get a small, <laughs> it's too tight. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, most of the time I'm a four. So that's kind of what I've been trying to go with. But then I get something and I'm like, oh, you thought. So I was like, you know what? This, I want to make sure I have plenty of room for the boobs. So let me just get a medium. And I, yeah, I feel like I can't move. And it's just very, I feel like this is, it's supposed to be like sucking you in. And it's kind of just sitting there. And I just feel like I'm going to fall out of it. So I'm like, do I get small? Or is it just not even, I feel like it's not even, like it's cool. I don't know. I'm curious, let me know your thoughts, because I feel like it should be like that. So is a smaller size gonna do that? Or do I need fake boobs to do that? <laughs> so that's where I'm at. I just thought this would be a good, there's gonna be a lot of parties and events coming up. Thought this would be like a good look, but like simple and easy. It's very comfortable, like the fabric feels amazing, but let me know, smaller size or just move on? Okay, I feel like it needs to be like that. Okay, but while we're here, I have some coats. So this is easy try on coats. Look, I can't 
I don't know if I shared this in the last video, but I've been, this has been my travel coat lately. So I wanted to share it. Um, it's by Magda Boutram, who I really like. And it's just, I don't have, I didn't, didn't have a gray coat, but I also love that it's like sweatshirt material, if you can see that. So it's just so comfortable, especially if you live somewhere that doesn't get super, super cold. Um, but this is like a great coat right now. Oh my God, it looks so good. Like I really, really love this um, coat. So I just wanted to share. Um, has like a little inside pocket, of course that's, but it just feels amazing. Now I know I haven't showed this. This is my dream coat, like every coat from YSL. She's a splurge. I'm just showing you because I love it. This is, but it's a little girl math. Stay with me. So I pre-ordered a shirt at the beginning of summer from YSL. It was actually from the men's collection. And I don't know what kind of mood I was in. Um, I don't know what was going on that day. I think I was, I, I don't know. I don't know if we, <laughs> I just got paid a lot. I don't know. Cause the shirt was $6,000 for a shirt. Uh, but it was also kind of like the, you only have to put half down and I was just already in a spendy mood. So anywho, like two weeks ago, I go to get something altered and then they're like, oh, the shirt came in. And I try on the shirt and I look at the price. I'm like, how much was this? I'm like, oh no, I'm not getting this shirt. Then I see this coat and then I'm like, oh man, the coat, I mean, it's pricey. It's $6,000 too. That's just a little, but I already put 3000 down on the shirt. So she's like, oh, you can just put that towards the coat. So then the coat's really only 3000. This is ridiculous. I know, but basically I got the coat 50% off because I already spent the money at the beginning of summer. So anywho, <laughs> let me just put the coat on. Um, this is a size 36. This obviously runs really oversized and big because I'm typically a 38. I size down, um, just to help with like the arms and stuff. Oh my God. And this is a, like, I went back and forth with getting it tailored or like hemmed at the bottom, but I feel like this is a like going out coat. This is a red carpet, not red carpet, but like event type of coat. Like I'm not just going to wear this to the airport. So I do want it long enough that I can like wear it with gowns and dresses. And like, you know, for dinners and stuff like that. So this, oh my God, is the coat. Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous. And this like herringbone, look at the texture. Look at the, oh my God. She's just so bossy. So this is the last coat that I'm buying. My coat closet is exploding. I don't have any room and I don't need anything. We're covered. We got a gray, we got a herringbone and I have one more coat to show you. <laughs> but this is a special occasion coat. So this coat is, you're gonna die with this coat too. This is from Rotate. This is actually from the Outnet. So it was, I think right now it's 60% off. This is a like, oh my God. Hello, hello, obviously it's faux, but it feels so good. I mean, it's like, like a satin on the inside. <sighs> Wowzers. I feel like Frank Lucas on uh, American Gangster. It's so absolute fire. Um, if this is still available, I'll link it down below. This is the dress from House of CB. How, hold on, how freaking cute is this? <gasps> this is like a holiday party, festive. I can't remember if it comes in other colors. Do you see the snatch? Josh had to help me get into it. She's snug. Um, this is a size four. I probably could have done a size six, but also a six probably, I don't know if the length would have been, I don't know. Um, I wanted to try this on actually in store when I was in Atlanta, but I just ran out of time. So I ordered it. You can order based on cup size. I ordered the A through C cup size. Um, and then you can also order, I think, lengths maybe. So I ordered the regular length, I believe. Um, 
but I did want to feel like I was corseted. So I'm happy with this. Like, it's just one of those dresses I have to know like, oh, she's snug. But not like too snug where I feel like I can't sit down or anything. Let's see. Yeah, just like I'm perched. <laughs> but it looks so freaking good. Um, so yeah, this is a dupe of a dress from a brand called House of Shushu, I believe. Um, and the difference with theirs, I mean, I'm sure it's probably better quality, but this part is white. And I was eyeing that dress, but I'm just trying to make better decisions with some things. Um, so, and I feel like this one does, this one does the trick, so that's that. Um, that is everything? No. Oh, I have a little Sephora haul. I figured people are wanting to know what people are getting for the Sephora sale. Um, and I just happened to get, these are all like refills, but I feel like that's kind of the best stuff to share. So, this is the non, well, I guess it's still like luxurious things. So, I figured let's just go through. These are my absolute loves that I try to get before I even run out type of things. Um, so yeah, first thing um, we always talk about is the, where's the front child? Well, the Josie Moran Whipped Body Oil Butter. Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. If you're dry like me, this is the best. I think it hydrates and sinks into the skin more than Fenty. I like Fenty, but so I just feel like it sits on top of my skin. It looks nice, like it makes my skin look nice, but I just don't feel that hydration. That makes sense. Look at my boobs, they were sitting. So, and then I actually tried a new scent. This is Sweet Citrus. So, got that. I got my favorite oil I use at night. We always talk about this, the Guerlain Bel Royale. This is a splurge. This is luxury skincare. Um, I found out about this through a campaign I did with them. And this is my second time repurchasing. So after that campaign, I used that bottle. I bought it again, and then this is me buying it again. And she's a lot, but there is, this is the most high, the only oil that really hydrates my skin, it lasts all night. I use this and the like product that goes along with it. I forget what it's called, but I still have some of that. I really didn't want to buy both at the same time. <laughs> um, I got a Forever Mood candle because I absolutely love this candle. This is Burning Bridges. It is mm, bergamot. Yeah, bergamot, which is one of my favorite scents. Vanilla, musk, jasmine, but then it has like some lemon and grapefruit. It's just... I also love how it looks. I, told, I think I talked about like how yellow is like my kind of like easy color as far as like in my home and just even wearing. And it's just so pleasant and yummy without being too overwhelming. Absolutely love it. Um, oh, I actually got something to try. Um, I got the one size bronzing, bronze and sculpt trio. Um, Cause I'm almost out of my Dior bronzer. So I figured I would Try this, I really like one size. I'll show you what, oh, the packaging is gorgeous. Um, ooh, wow, wow. Like this is definitely my shade in a bronzer, like these two. This is probably gonna be more of a contour, which I don't really contour anymore, but I'll play around with it in a very nice mirror. That is gorgeous. Um, oh my God, I also got a uh, Ebel Royale to travel with because um, I traveled with the big one before and then it spilled and I was sick. So I'd rather a little one spill that's like $50 than one that's $150. Oh, then I got this to try. We can try it together. From Summer Fridays, it's just this lip butter balm, but I feel like I've been seeing everyone talk about it. So I wanted to try it and it's always out of stock in store and it's in vanilla beige. Mm -hmm. See, I already have stuff on, but let's just see. Hmm, pretty. I'm trying to see if it has like a color. It feels really good as far as just hydration, which is what I was hoping like a little color and a little tint, but also like ugh, can't just sit on my lips. I need you to do something. So, excited about that. Okay. That's the haul. <laughs> this was just a quick little video. I wanted to have something to go up Sunday and I want to show you like the new things I'm excited about adding into my closet. So 
that's the haul. Um, this Wednesday we'll have the next Style Unlocked. I'm so glad you guys are liking the series. It is just my passion project. I'm so passionate about it. I love it so much. I'm just so excited for it. So that will be up every Wednesday. Um, and then the season finale will be mid-December. So we'll go into mid-December. I'm interviewing our guests for the season finale next week. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much for all the feedback and, and tips and suggestions. Um, keep them coming. And also let me know what you liked in the haul. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.